Rumors from Groom Lake keep surfacing about a hypersonic aircraft already flying. Arriving as Russia shows off Zircon and China Tout's new hypersonic capabilities in an intensifying arms race. Welcome to Defense Firepower. Today we unpack what's verified, what's plausible, and why a reusable Mach 6 platform would rewrite timelines in modern warfare. The SR-71 Blackbird was essentially untouchable at around Mach 3.3 and left U.S. Air Force service in 1998, with NASA flights ending in 1999. Lockheed Skunk Works publicly floated the SR-72 concept in 2013, describing a vision for Max's 6 crews using turbine-based combined cycle propulsion, a turbine for takeoff acceleration transitioning to a scramjet at high speed. TBCC isn't sci-fi. NASA's open literature details the architecture and mode transition control and inlet challenges. A Mach 6 aircraft is roughly approximately two times the SR-71's top speed and far faster than fourth or fifth generation jets, which explains the leap in reaction time if it's ever fielded. Unlike the SR-71's ISR only role, open reporting on the SR-72 concept has long suggested ISR with optional strike, aligning with U.S. rapid global conventional attack ideas. The DARPA HAWC program, Air Breathing Scramjet, completed multiple successful flights. The final test went greater than Mach 5, greater than 60,000 feet, and greater than 300 nautical miles, proving key pieces of air breathing hypersonic tech in flight. DARPA then launched Mohawk, awarding approximately $81 million to mature propulsion and integration further, and by fiscal year 2025, DARPA listed Mohawk as completed with no new funds requested. These advances fit within the broader conventional prompt global strike concept, fast, precise, conventional effects at global ranges on short notice, an idea tracked by the U.S. Congressional Research Service. China and Russia have demonstrated hypersonic missiles such as Russia's Zircon, but there's no public confirmation that either has an operational reusable hypersonic aircraft that can launch, recover, refuel, and fly again, a capability that would compress the kill chain and pressure A2-AD defenses. As of mid-2025, U.S. outlets note no U.S. hypersonic weapon is fielded yet. Programs are re-energized but still pre-fielding. The Army aiming to field LRHW by end FY25 and already deploying the system for exercises abroad. On budgets, CRS reports the Pentagon requested about $6.9 billion for hypersonic research in fiscal year 2025, then approximately $3.9 billion FY 2026 as programs rephased, evidence of sustained multi-billion dollar investment even amid year-to-year -year shifts. That spend doesn't prove SR-72 flights, but it does show the U.S. is heavily backing hypersonic missiles and enabling tech, including air breathing slash scramjet maturation via Mohe WC. If the U.S. ever fields a reusable Mask 6 aircraft, the clock for targeting, response, and denial compresses dramatically. Would Washington reveal it now or only when it's needed most? Tell us what you think below. If you value fact-checked military analysis, like, share, and subscribe to Defense Firepower. Until next time, stay vigilant, stay locked, and loaded.